Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, it's Jesse, and we're back as promised, this time with a playthrough on the Barbarian. Now, I just want to, you know, take a minute to appreciate Krimnox the Sorcerer in his hat, because that is freaking hilarious and awesome on, on pretty much every level. Uh, anyway, enough of that. Let's switch hero. Actually, oh, no, hold on. I may... I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll let you decide. Uh, we can either... Stick with the level fives that I already have when we do the demon hunter or monk or I can create new ones I'll leave it up to you guys, but let's create a hero Uh, yeah oh, oh, oh. It's my kind of lady Funk in the trunk In the trun? Oh Funk in the trunk Yeah Funk NDA trunk. Am I under an NDA trunk? I hope not. Create hero. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Mama don't need no clothes. Let's do this thing. I'm excited. Start game. Funny story, at BlizzCon last year, my friends and I decided to play all barbarians during the, um... Uh, what the hell is that? Uh, they had like a PvP area of the Diablo 3 beta that you could test and play and stuff. And I will say this now, going three Barbarians is really stupid. You get your ass handed to you in PvP. So if that's like your strategy, that's what you think you're going to do. It's like, we're going to be three Barbarians and jump around the room and kill guys. Uh, you're an idiot. Okay, anyway, let's check this out. Total hottie. Ooh, redhead. Love it. Uh, what do I got? Bash. For bashing and threatening shout for threatening okay sure so really uh, this place reeks of death the fallen star is near okay then jiggle boobs jiggle boobs <laughs> I love this chick <laughs> Oh, smash it, smash it! Oh, by the way, uh, I got a little notice before I logged in. It was like, your graphics card, uh, drivers are out of date. So apparently I gotta go update them, but just to make sure, video. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, okay. We're still good, it looks like. Not gonna complain. But if anything happens, I'm blaming that, and not me. Ugh, die! I love that when you smash them, they fly back like 15 feet. That's awesome. I'm coming to save you! Shibuza! Oh, I didn't really need to even do that. Hey there, handsome. I seek the fallen star. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead That skinny bitch, I hate her. Until we drive them back. Die! Oh, damn! Oh, can I use my, like... Ah, uh, see, this was the problem that I had with Barbarians at, uh, BlizzCon. And I'll say it now, look. Notice that the other classes, every other one, every other one has a full bar, or whatever this is, Orby thing. Yes, we know she's there. Anyway, they have a full Orby thing down here. And, um... Yeah, it, it, actually, you know what? I just realized, give me five seconds. And like that, with the power of editing, we're back. Now you can see my mouse, whoops. Anyway, this thing right here. Every other class in the game, it's full to start with. As a barbarian, it starts at zero. And so in PvP, for example, that is redunculous because while everyone else can unload on you, stuff where like, you know, this, for example, your main abilities, uh, or the one where you leap. I can't remember if it's just called leap or not. Let's see. What what are you called, ability? Unity, battle, rage, war, win, sprint, rend. Cleave? Which the one where, where you jump? Leap attack. The one where, like, you can jump at guys to hurt them. So, like, let's say there's a mage named Krimnox just wailing on you with lightning from far away, right? This, you need 20 fury in order to even use it. Which you have zero to start with. And so basically at the start of a battle, you have to hit them with say, 
your bash, a fury generating attack, right? You have to hit them in order to even leap at them. So it, it, any mage worth his salt can just blink around the room and just blast your ass and kill you. So yeah, our grand strategy of like, oh, we can just leap at them and kill them was a total bust. Burn those corpses before they rise again. Okay, then. So yeah. What is this? Quest marker. Is that always there? Eh, it doesn't matter. Zacharum has fallen to Bless disgrace. Bless me. What? By the grace of the ancients, may your soul be warmed and brought to glory in righteousness. For those of you who are like, oh my god, I want to see all the cutscenes and stuff. Uh, go look up the first three videos with Krimnox the sorcerer and you can... I basically sit there for like 25 minutes and listen to the people just complain and talk. What I is promised this? Marco I'd protect him, and now he's dead. Is this a new quest? You are missing something very important. A cauldron of Jordan. I want you to have mine for all the help you have given me. I have, I have given you no help. Okay. Interesting. Is this because I have another character who saved him? Very interesting. Huh. Don't you... The dead rising from their graves. This must be the end of the world. People are very accepting of a giant Amazonian half... You know... I don't even... I guess not half naked. Bikini clad... Barbarian woman just running around town. Everyone's really cool with that. Have you come to help us? The other adventurers who came through here. I've didn't come to say, make snooze snooze. I don't care what anyone says. That thing that fell from the sky was no rock. A rock doesn't cause the dead to leave their graves. As a massive lore nerd, I just want to point out for the fact that, uh, considering there is no introduction video or manual or anything like that, I have no clue what that rock is. Like, I know it's the, the meteorite from the trailer, so go look that up on YouTube, which I guess you're on now, but just look that up. I know it's that, but I'm kind of disappointed I don't know much more. And since the game stops you so early... <sighs> Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the fallen star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... The Watch out! The wounded are Oh, now you're gonna die! Joosh! Joosh! Jabooja! <laughs> Damn, is that violence! I love this lady! The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will send them back to their graves. I will save your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Who is the voice actress who does the Barbarian? I've heard this voice before. You know who it is? It's whoever does Agra in World of Warcraft. That's that's where I've heard that voice before. It's Agra's voice, basically. All right. <laughs> My favorite book is right here. I played this intro so many times. I know where everything is. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith, but if help doesn't arrive soon. Brr, that's not what I meant to do. That is what I meant to do. Can't I move that like here? Yup. Oh, cause that's how you do it. <laughs> Why you got to be so stupid, Jesse? Okay. All right, big mama, where are we going? Out the front door, huh? And for those of you who don't know or haven't seen the other videos, this thing basically, you can sell stuff to it. It's like your personal seller-y thing. So if I get items that I don't need, I, like for this, for example, I can just sell it right now for 12 gold. <gasps> it lets me keep my gold from other... Oh, so that's why I got it, I think. Everything's connected. That's really badass. Okay. How can I help fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Your warriors will be avenged. Thank you, Agra. That is definitely fight. Agra. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these 
horrors. I still find that incredibly funny that the monsters get vomited out. Boom! Actually, let's get some of my fury generated as I go. Boom! Oh my god, was that awesome. This is certainly a very violent class. Ooh, new lore. The wretched mothers were once normal women, but in death they serve a dark purpose. These horrors feast upon the remains of cadavers, then use foul magic to regurgitate the bodies as newly formed risen dead. One must slay the mother quickly, or her nightmarish spawn <laughs> will continue to grow in number. Yeah, okay, this is like one of those classes where you know it's gonna be just violent as hell. I love that. Uh, the mage was very like, electrocute 12 guys at, one, at once, and that was kind of awesome. But this, this is, this has its own subtle funness to it. Oh, mister. <laughs> Uh, oh, I got new lore and I didn't even listen to it. For shame on me. What was it? Wretched Mother? I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. Now, for those of you who saw my other playthrough, I don't think I went to this one. Young I think this one was closed. A nest must be nearby. Yes. Oh, I, maybe I did. I don't know. I don't remember. Boom, son! Disgusting vermin. Gotta be honest, those look like pets you would have in WoW. They're little tiny baby ones are kind of cute. Quill fiends are a common nuisance in the Western lands. And I have had my own tents ransacked by them. <gasps> have you During an expedition to Candorus, I was able to beat them off with a shoe. But the best bold man would have fared far worse. Quill fiends are dangerous. Very, very Underestimate dangerous. them at your peril. I will not do such a thing. All right. Guess that was it for that. <laughs> Barbarian woman running around. Well, I'm gonna start looking like a pimp here in a second. Alright, there should be... Uh, see? I go to use my abilities and I can't, except for the smash one. I'm telling ya. That's gonna get real annoying real fast for me. <laughs> that won't, though! That was amazing! Boom, son! Boom! Correct yourself! <laughs> wow, that is pretty freaking enjoyable. So what is this? Like, the camp that got burnt down by zombies. The blood splatter on the ground is just about the best thing ever. I guess, like, you don't appreciate it when you just electrocute them and they fall down like fried corpse chicken leg things, but this, this is pretty great. I would put that there. <gasps> Can I dual wield? Oh, she has bought. You don't mess with this lady now. Hello. Various bad guys. Oh, son. Oh, my goodness. Well, that is one way to generate fury. Nice. Okay. That armor. Oh, now we looking classy. Now we looking classy. Okay. Boom! 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 What happened to this treasure? Are the fiends hoarding it? Oh, damn! I like one shot of that dude! Wow. Barbarians are OP as... I don't even know what. Barbarians. Okay, okay, that was pretty badass. Boom, that's going on there. Boom, that's going on there. Oh, and just to show you, like, sell. Mm, sell. Sell. See? Pretty awesome. Okay, uh, what did I get? Am 
Armor of the Ancients. I got Battle Rage. Enter a rage, increasing my damage. I like my awesome hammer a little bit more. Man. Don't, let's see it. Let's see what it looks like, right? That's why we're testing. We might as well test it out. Where are you, monsters? I want to use my battle rage on you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the ruins shit. of old Tristram are truly cursed. And... Oh, that doesn't really look like anything. Wow. Oh, you now you die, queen. How long does that last? I guess it lasts a little bit longer than the, the mage's buff ability he had, but... Not much longer. I think there's a few more things around Tristram we can find. Oh, son. <laughs> I exploded. Wow. Did I just knock that guy, his skeleton, out of his? I went Mortal Kombat on that shit. Look at that. His his body exploded. Ooh, that guy. I don't know what happened there. Boom! Amazing. I'm missing the ranged portion of this game. Like, I I can't imagine actually playing this class in-game, though it is pretty awesome to watch, but I like being able to attack from far away. Though I guess when I get the jump ability at level 6, that might change. Hello, friends. Smash it, smash it. I need that bash ability, yeah. Though it would be nice to have this and the other one. Oh. Uh, to have the, at level six, have two things here. Though I guess I'd want the bash and the leap, but whatever. What, what do you got, though? What? No. That goes there. That goes there. Okay. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but one of the things I really like that I guess a lot of people are like, Oh, that sucks! Is I like the fact that... Oh, look at that. Thought for a minute I'd found Wart's fourth leg. Um, one, one of the things that I like that I guess a lot of people don't like is that you have to choose. Like, you can't level up abilities and, and like, I'm gonna be a lightning warrior. Like, you have to decide what you're gonna pick and you can only get so many, like five things and... So everyone's going to be a slightly different, though I think I mentioned this before, somewhere along the line, someone's going to find, like, a perfect spec, and they're going to theory crap the shit out of it, and then everyone's going to be like, oh, I have to be that, and if you're not that, then you suck, and will ruin any uniqueness to the game. So before that happens, let me say, don't do that, assholes. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. 